Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Electro Embedded. In last two video, we have discussed about GPIO peripheral configuration by using ESP IDEA framework. In this video, I am going to discuss a very important topic, which is related to GPIO. In some ESP32 boards, some GPIOs we can't use as normal GPIO, or you can say we can't use as a digital output or digital input directly because by default they are configured in different peripheral function so to use them as a normal gpio we have to reset or unlock those pins or we have to mux those pins as a digital output or input here i am going to explain both method for explanation i am going to pick my last video code in that video i was using sp32 s3 and in the sp32 s3 data sheet you can see gpio 39 40 41 and 40 are by default configured as jtag uh, peripheral functions okay so in this code we will change this input and output pins with these jtag pins okay but before that i will show you again this working code so that you can see the difference okay so I flash this code inside ESP32 S3. Now you can see when I am pressing red button, then red LED is turning. And when I am pressing white button, green LED is turning. Means code is working fine. So we will change the pin now. So this GPIO 4 I will replace with GPIO 39, same 5 will replace by 40, 6 will replace by 41, 7 will replace by 42. Okay, now I will compile the program and flash this inside ESP32 S3 board. Okay, now you can see when I am pressing this red button, I am detecting input, but LED is not turning on. In the same way, when I am pressing white button, then I am getting input, but this LED is not turning on. Okay, means this uh, this output pin is not working. Okay, so we have to reset their by default functions. Okay, so to reset any pin in ESP32 S3 or any ESP32 board by using ESP IDF framework, we have to call GPIO reset pin function. Okay. In this function, we have to pass an argument which is nothing but GPIO pin number. Okay, and this function must be called before GPIO pin configuration. Okay, where we are configuring as a uh, output or input, before that we have to call this function to reset that pin. Okay, so I will call uh, this function and I will reset all pin. Okay, I am simply resetting this input pin also. Uh, that is uh, this now I reset it all pin I will compile and flash this code okay that's the flash now you can see when I'm pressing this red button then red LED is turning on When I am pressing white button, then green LED is turning on. Okay, means this method is working fine. You, you have to just reset that pin, and everything will work fine. Okay. Now I am going to discuss another method that is GPIO pin maxing. In this method, we are changing GPIO pin for function. Input uh, pin was working fine, so no need to max pin as input. So I will explain only output pin maxing. For this, first I need to call GPIO IO max out function. Okay, GPIO IO max out function. In this, I need to pass three arguments. First, GPIO pin number. Second, output function.
fast uh, i am passing false because i don't want to invert output okay now i compile and slice the code press the code now you can see when i am pressing red button then red led is turning on and when i am pressing white button then green led is turning on means this method is also working fine so you can use any these two method and you can use any gpio as a normal gpio or as a digital input or digital output okay so if you got anything from this video please like this video and share with your friends in next video i am going to explain adc peripheral so please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching my video